taking time with us to kind of sit down and, and chat a little bit about something that you guys know a lot about and something that we think we know a little bit about is transportation and the movement of people. So um, over the last couple of years, how have you seen Waze uh, play a role in people's lives in terms of you know, getting people around town? Yeah, firstly, thanks Peter, for having me. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here, pleasure to be sitting with you uh, and having this chat. Uh, to, to come to your question, I think, I think uh, Waze's journey is, is about five, eight years old now. And what started off as a, as a very small aspiration to save people's uh, time by five minutes every trip, period. Very simple aspiration. That was how we started. And then it kind of snowballed. Kind of snowballed to say, how can we save more people's more time, etc. And what started off as, as outsmarting traffic has now become to eliminating traffic altogether. So that's the kind of metamorphosis we've gone through. Uh, part of that journey was as an independent company. Most of the journey is now with Google as, as part of the, uh, of the Google uh, stable of products. But I think we've come a long way. And we still see a long, long way f ahead of us. Like, for instance, in the West, we are uh, piloting with Kapu, uh, which, is, which is another way to eliminate traffic by taking cars off the road. Uh, so I think we have a long distance ahead of us. We don't consider our jobs even half done. Um, have you seen any type of fun or interesting uh, insights that are maybe different in Asia versus uh, across other markets that, uh, that, that you'd be able to share? Yeah, a great point. Um, in Asia, by the way, Malaysia is the fourth largest consumer market in the world for ways. Really? That's right. Fourth largest in the world. So, and, this uh, is, and this is by time spent? No, this, this is by, by sheer number of users. Sheer number of users. Sheer number of users. Wow. So, so, uh, so Malaysia is number four. Indonesia is not far behind and growing rapidly. So I, do, I wouldn't be surprised in a couple of years when we meet for APMF in 2020, Indonesia could be larger. So that's number one fun fact, which nobody would know. The second is the, is the, is the sheer love for the brand. Is, 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 I can feel it when I go to markets. When I go, come to Indonesia saying, thank you so much for helping me. This is like uh, in, in the early days of Google, people would come and say, Thanks for Google search, like I built it, I didn't. Uh, uh, but, but the love is, is evident, and that's something that I'm very proud of. Uh, and, and I think the challenge that we need to solve for is how can we get uh, the brand to really work for businesses? How do we get, how do we solve for local problems with the brand? Like we, we, we did the odd even license plate in Jakarta, which means that the app knows that if I'm driving an odd, odd, license, odd numbered license plate, I, I cannot go on Gato Subroto today. Uh, so that's something we've built for, for Jakarta. And, and, and I, I'm looking forward to more such local challenges uh, to be solved for by, by the brand and by the app itself. Fantastic. So, so would you say that you know, the social aspect of it was one of the, the main reasons why Waze has become so incredibly popular, especially here in Indonesia? I remember uh, a couple of years ago, everybody was like, oh, you know, find out on Waze, find out on Waze. And that's just kind of been the go-to of trying to navigate a city like you know, Jakarta or even here in, in, in Bali during, during high season. So, uh, so you know, how has, uh, how has social, in that case, uh, been an important part of adoption? Yeah, uh, I think social is the most, the key element of the whole, of the whole uh, three layers that I enumerated earlier. I wouldn't isolate Indonesia yet, uh, but, but I think overall across the world, social is played the most importantly. As simple as having your own icon, the, the various icons are always on it, uh, you should see our booth outside. People, people are excited holding those icons, taking photographs. So I think, I think uh, uh, Indonesia and Jakarta are, are extremely social friendly. Uh, I wouldn't call out the success of the, of the app just because of its social in, in Indonesia. I think Indonesia has problems genuinely on transportation uh, in terms of getting from point A to point B. Uh, I, I was telling a friend the other day, the first word I learned when I came to Indonesia was machat uh, and jam karet. Uh, so, so, you know, those are two words that, you know, that we try to help with. We try to help people save their times, get, get, to, uh, get, get to their destinations on time, inform people they're getting to to say, this is how I'm getting to this, this is the way to share your location, to let people know that reported by Waze, you should be there in 32 minutes. Uh, those are things that have caught up and, and, and we still have a long way to go, but I think, I think the whole, uh, uh, the, the excitement about the usage of Waze is, 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 is really, really uh, encouraging for me uh, to see that happen in Indonesia. Fantastic. Thanks so much again. Looking Thank you so much. To your, uh, to, your, to your keynote and, uh, and looking forward to uh, using Waze later today when, uh, when heading into the airport. Thanks so Thanks. much. Thanks so much. Pleasure meeting you.